Today I'm gonna read National Geographic Kids Dinosaurs by Kathleen Wiedner Zofeld. Big Scary Bones. Have you ever seen dinosaur bones in a museum? Some of them are huge. If those bones came to life, it would be pretty scary. But not to worry, all the big scary dinosaurs died off long, long ago. Bones weren't always at the museum. Where did they come from? Word Bites Museum, a building where you can see dinosaur bones and other rare and important things. Digging up dinosaurs. The dinosaur bones were buried safely in a rock for a long time. The bones are fossils. Paleontologists found them. They dug them out of the ground. Word Bites Fossil, part of a living thing that has been saved in stone. Paleontologist, a scientist who finds and studies fossils. They brought the fossil bones to the museum and cleaned them. Then they put them all together. Bones were on the inside of a dinosaur, but what did dinosaurs look like on the outside? Dinosaur skin. Sometimes dinosaur skin left prints in mud. The mud hardened and saved the prints. These fossils tell us that some dinosaurs were scaly, like lizards, and some dinosaurs had feathers, like birds. Skin fossil. Feather fossil. Triceratops. Bu tree raptor. Dinosaur superstars. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the biggest meat eaters that ever walked the earth. Diplodocus was one of the longest dinosaurs ever found. Pachycephalosaurus walked on two legs and had a thick domed head. Triceratops had a huge head with three large horns and a wide neck frill. Ankylosaurus was an armored dinosaur and had a solid bone club at the end of its tail. Stegosaurus had rows of tall plates running down its back. Its tail had four deadly spikes. Smallest dinosaurs. When you go to a museum, be sure to look for the smallest dinosaurs. Some are small enough to hold in your hands. Many dinosaurs had feathers. This is a Microraptor compared to you. Microraptor. Walking on tiptoes. Big or small, scaly or feathery, all dinosaurs walked on their toes. And all dinosaurs had a curvy S-shaped necks. Cool. This is the knee, the ankle, and the toes. And this is the neck of Edmontosaurus. Biggest dinosaurs. Biggest dinosaurs were the long-necked sauropods. You can't miss them. Sauropods like the Argentinosaurus are the biggest land animals that ever lived. Here is a picture of an Argentinosaurus versus you. You can see how small you are. What did dinosaurs eat? The dinosaurs' teeth tell us what it ate. Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus were plant eaters. They had dozens of chisel-like teeth. Their teeth were good for snipping tough branches. This is a fossil of a Diplodocus, and here is a Brachiosaurus. Other dinosaurs were meat eaters. They ate other animals. Deinonychus had sh teeth as sharp as steak knives. They were perfect for slicing meat. Here is a tooth of a meat eater, Tyrannosaurus rex. Dinosaur moms and babies. Old dinosaurs, even the scariest meat eaters, laid eggs and had babies. Some of them, such as the oviraptor, guarded their nests and kept their eggs warm. When the babies hatched, the parents looked after them until they were big enough to live on their own. And this is a picture of an oviraptor. Is that a dinosaur? Lots of people think anything big and dead is a dinosaur, but that's not right. Is this a dinosaur? No. The woolly mammoth was huge, 
but this animal did not lay eggs like a dinosaur. It had fur. No dinosaurs had fur. The woolly mammoth lived after the big dinosaurs went extinct. Word bites. Extinct. No longer alive. When all members of a group of animals are dead, they are extinct. Here's a picture of a woolly mammoth and its baby. Is this a dinosaur? It walks on its toes. It has a curvy neck. It has feathers like an Anchiornis. And it lays eggs. Yes, a chicken is a dinosaur. All birds are living dinosaurs. And here's a picture of an Anchiornis. It's an extinct dinosaur. And a chicken is a living dinosaur. Now that's crazy. Your pet dinosaur. Huh? Many people would love to keep dinosaurs as pets. You might think a Tyrannosaurus Rex would be fun to play fetch with, but you wouldn't want to be near it at dinner time. And besides, it's extinct. If you want a dinosaur of your own, look for one that's small. A small dinosaur makes a very good pet. What is that? Looks like she has a little bird. Well, that was a fun book about dinosaurs. Thanks for reading with me. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more cool videos from Rex Reads. We'll see you soon and thank you.